Every time I look at you, I go blind. Every time I look at you, I go blind. In the evening, I go out and I try to find some shiny pennies. Every time I look at you, I go blind. I don't know what it is. Self check counters just won't give me a chance. That is a parody of a song by the band 5440 called I Go Blind. And if you thought that that song was actually a Hootie and the Blowfish song, you might be surprised, as I was, to find out that it actually was first sung ten years before that by that band. And the reason, of course, that I chose that song is because, number one, it's a Canadian band, and number two, it's called, the song is called I Go Blind, which, if you're looking at something bright and shiny, you might go blind, so it was kind of a fitting song all around. 5440 is kind of, I've, I've heard them described as being the Canadian REM, which I don't know if that's a compliment or a, or, or a, or a backhanded compliment or an insult. I, I like REM, they're one of my favorite bands, but to say like they're the Canadian REM, it's, it's always funny when you compliment somebody by comparing them to somebody else like the best thing about you is that you remind me of someone else you know that that kind of thing but uh this is a one cent canadian penny and you are not seeing things that's night that's 1965 on the on the tail side there and then of course the beautiful maple leaves i love the canadian penny it's really uh it's one of the prettiest coins in uh, world commerce i have to say and then of course on the tail side you have the lovely uh at the time queen elizabeth who is still the queen now i mean <laughs> she it's it's amazing like the, the the queen that you hear about in in old movies from the 50s is still the queen now but uh and that's her on the coin and I thought this was worthy of a video because look at how nice and shiny and new it is. Like it's my theory on this is that maybe it was part of an uncirculated collection that made it into circulation somehow. Like maybe some guy had uh had a collection of of uncirculated Canadian coins and he left them to his grandkids and his grandkids just spent them or something, but I don't know. It's I mean it's obviously circulated, but to be this this in this good a shape and be almost 60 years old, it would have to have been out of circulation for some time, I would think, and only have entered circulation recently. I live in the upper Midwest, and we do get Canadian coins here sometimes. I'm sure that it's not as common as like people in upstate New York and Maine and, and northern New England probably see Canadian money all the time. But whenever I see a Canadian coin, and particularly a Canadian penny, I always save it. Because I believe the Canadian penny is a thing of the past now, and they're they're being actively me melted down. And then there's also the fact that Canadian cents uh, were made of 96% copper, I believe, up until 1996. As opposed to American pennies that were 95% copper up until 1983, when they changed to being made of mostly zinc, copper-plated zinc, instead of a uh, an alloy of copper and zinc. So they're just uh, great coins all around, and I collect them. I have, I have a jar specifically for them. Uh, I'm a coin collector who doesn't really go to coin shops. I collect coins mostly in the in change. And I mentioned the self-check in my song, and a lot of people don't like self-checks. I do, because I can actually control the type of change I get back. I usually prefer to get quarters and pennies. Pennies for collecting and then quarters for laundry. And the best way to do that is by leaving uh, a certain dollar amount and then, and then putting just enough change in there so that you end up with the dollar amount and then 21 cents because then you end up with three quarters, which is the maximum amount of quarters you can get back and change, and then uh, four pennies, and then I believe a couple of dimes. And 
that's what works best for me. Of course, if you put one extra penny in there and, and it was uh, it was only 20 cents, then you would end up with a nickel instead and uh, because you couldn't get five nickels back on those uh, on those machines. So uh, unless the, the machine happens to be out of nickels for some reason. But I do collect nickels also, but the, I, I tend to prefer the pennies. It looks like the there's a KC on there. Let me know in the comments, any of you who know what that means. I, I don't know much about Canadian uh, money, so I don't I don't know what that... I'm guessing it's the mint, but yeah, it says KC there. Or maybe it's the initials of the guy who designed that maple leaf. I don't know. You see a lot of these on Etsy being made into jewelry and stuff because a lot of Canadians, understandably, are very proud of this coin and... and uh, even though it's been discontinued, they want to uh, they want to continue seeing it. I I cannot blame them at all. This is a gorgeous coin, and this would be ninety six percent copper. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, let me know what you think of that uh, that KC, what that means, and tell me you know uh, about. Uh,